What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here in the flesh. I know it has been a long while and we have a lot to talk about in this video. We uh, gotta talk about my permaban, how it happened, what I want the channel to be going forward. We are starting some new series here on the channel. We are going to have a plethora of ESO contents even though I am permaban. We're going to start a new series, Zero to Hero, starting a fresh account, getting it to 160 CP, and then just dumping on some chubby cheek kids in PvP and showing you guys that it can be done. So we are going to have a lot of low CP builds, some no CP builds coming out for you guys. And we're also going to be playing a mini game to see how long it take Zoss to permaban our freshly made account so if any of that sounds exciting to you please hit the like and sub button because we have a lot to talk about here on the channel okay so some tldr kind of why i was permaban in the first place to kind of give you all some context this is my fifth permaban unrightfully so this time they got you boy so what had happened Back, I know last year we had a talk with Boyd Beasley and also Terry White. Boyd Beasley was the senior director of customer support for Xenomax. Essentially, they told me to stop talking about bugs and exploits. Fast forward to my most recent live stream that I had specifically just for my community members called The Sauce. You guys can go check that out on my channel. I showed the unintended interaction of Clever Alchemist and Seeker Synthesis, where Seeker Synthesis was working unintended and then you could quadruple stack Clever Alchemist. I showed that specifically to my community members to minimize the fallout. I want to keep it low key and I also encourage all my community members to go submit the bug post to properly have it looked at and addressed just so that no one has a competitive advantage because the sweats have been using this set combination for a very very long time and the reason i haven't talked about it is because everyone loves a hate train right you know i didn't want the sweats jumping on my back but hey you know why are you bringing this to light there's a lot of stuff i still haven't even talked about for example you can still get a fifth or excuse me a third five piece set from the armory station they fix this bug twice well it is still active it's a little convoluted how to go how you have to go about it but eventually i will upload exactly the tutorial how to do so here on the channel so if any of that sounds interesting to you please hit the like and sub button to be notified of the content when i actually bring it out you know youtube has probably got me blacklisted for now since i haven't uploaded in a while but uh we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there okay but TLDR guys, why I got permaban is because Boy Beasley told me not to talk about bugs and exploits. And during the community stream, right, the devs, whoever banned me, had to purchase a community membership just to view the stream. I was permanently banned immediately after. Okay. There's a clause. I'll try and maybe I'll have it here up on the screen. I really don't know. But the dude I talked with about this permaban said it's like 14.2 or 11.2 something like that essentially the clause goes if a member of management I'm paraphrasing paraphrasing of course gives you a direct order for example boy busy told me not to talk about bugs and exploits if i go and talk about bugs and exploits they have the right to officially permanently ban me and that's exactly what happened okay i'm going to uh interject here a little bit this is horcrux and post credit i i actually got a little heated on this uh, the more i thought about it, the more malice i have toward this now so the reason i got banned is what uh future horcrux is going to talk about here so it is a code of conduct this is clause uh, let me find it here it is 2.11 okay so okay 2.11 all right so 2.11 a code of conduct 6 deliberately contravening a request or action by a member of the Zenimax staff is not permitted at any time. So what that means is guys, if anyone from management, literally anyone from management tells you to do something in the Elder Scrolls Online and you do not do it, they can permanently ban you. 10 years of content, 10 years of grinding, money, blood, sweat, and tears, instantly gone because someone from management told you to do something which is completely outlandish so as you can imagine i am a little bit butthurt by this as anyone would not only did this ruin 10 years of eso for me but this is also part of my livelihood they essentially killed my channel right by perma banning me so this was a huge huge overreach by Zenimax on this one and if i actually had the money to fight this i mean this 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 is a big deal like no gaming industry no gaming company should have the right to ban you over something so so obscured so gray it's it's just stupid
So I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit the, the video to come, but essentially that's why I was permabanned, is because I directly disobeyed the order from Boy Beasley and in Code of Conduct 2.11, I didn't even know what contravening means. The dude I had the conversation with, I had to ask him what this word even meant. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm permabanned. And the reason, I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent here as well. Um, this is, I've already covered this, this is already beating a dead horse, so essentially the way it was explained to me, by me talking about bugs and exploits, Zenimax has a roadmap. They have a roadmap of changes they need to address, bugs, uh, fixes, you know, whatever. By me producing content and by me talking about this on my live stream, it derails their roadmap, so they have to pump in extra resources just to address the things that I talk about. So each and every single time I talk about any bug or exploit, it is costing them thousands of dollars in expenses to just commit enough resources to address what I am talking about. And the way Boy Beasley explained it to me is that I am abusing my influence here on YouTube and Twitch. And, there, and, and his justification for that is that I am trying to maliciously use my influence to make Zoss bend the knee to me, is how he said it, bend the knee to me. And it's my job to ensure you have no power over my development team. And listen, for you guys out there in the comments section who is going to say, yeah, Horcrux, you've used bugs and exploits, you should be banned, it's part of the, the terms of service, you know, naughty, naughty. First of all, bugs and exploits is never explicitly defined. And the conversation I had, I asked this very question. The reason it is not specifically defined is so they can argue in court. So no one really knows what a bug and exploit is according to Zenimax and Bethesda. And here is my counter argument for you naysayers down here in the comments. What about add-ons? How come everyone who uses an add-on is not immediately banned? Because my definition, which I think most people's definition of a bug or exploit, is using something that is not intended in the game, okay, not intended, and it's giving you some sort of competitive advantage. How many add-ons, for example, Surrendar, Surrendar tells you people's resistances, it tracks people's cooldowns. You don't have access to that in the game. So in my opinion, I think anyone who uses add-ons should be permanently banned by that logic. So let me know down in the comments what you guys say to that one. And here's some more food for thought. What is an unintended interaction? Is it doing something that is not provided in the tooltip? And that's the case, almost every single person in the Elder Scrolls Online should be banned. So where is the line drawn between what is intended and what is not intended? If you ask me, the tooltips to all the spells, all the sets need a complete overhaul. There needs to be an advanced tab that gives you much more detail that is more in depth kind of tells you all the ins and outs all the little critiques um, dota actually has a uh, advanced tab like this so for example in dota if you hover over a spell it has what the spell does and then it has an advanced tab that tells you all the special interactions that it has with different sets and abilities and other heroes and stuff like that if you want my opinion if you want to fix the whole unintended non-intended question just have an advanced tab overhaul your tooltips so we as players are aware of what is supposed to happen compared to what is actually happening the reason i talk about any bugs or exploits that i find is just so it can be competitive so everyone is on the same level if you know about these bugs and exploits you know how to counter them or you know you can fight fire with fire so you know how to use them so that's why i talk about this stuff so everyone is on an equal playing field everyone can have fun and just enjoy ESO, but the, another Bethesda game. The the bugs are the features, you know. A Todd Howard would agree with that statement. So that's why I talk about it. But again, Zoss had twisted it to say, "Hey, I'm using my influence to abuse the system to make changes that I want to happen." Yes, in a way, I do want them to happen. But at the same time, I shouldn't have to make these videos because everything that I talk about should be addressed anyway and not swept under the rug. They want to take the lazy they want to take the lazy way out. They want to put in as least effort as possible 
and maximize profits with the crown store that is it so every single time i say anything it is costing them a lot of money like thousands of dollars according to boy beasley okay so enough of a tangent back to the video so here we are like four or five months later i tried to load up my xbox account now i was just did a fresh stream i was going to stream from console for my console brethren and uh yeah they completely wiped that account out as well so that is 10 years of the elder scrolls online content down the drain so a lot of you may be like yeah that that's it for horcrux they they gotcha they did do your boy dirty not gonna lie but this has allowed me to kind of reflect on the direction i want the channel to go i want it to be more fun so we are going to have a lot of low cp level builds um, like i mentioned at the beginning of the video we'll do like a zero to hero challenge we'll grind up new characters play with low cp sets shit on kids and duels open world yada yada and we also are going to play the mini game and see how long it takes to get permanently banned by zoss yet again now as far as i can tell there's nothing about ban evading in the tos so your boy might get off scot-free who knows so that is in the works now in the meantime until i get everything lined out i need yours guys as help okay for content here on the channel i know it's a new patch i haven't even read the patch notes okay truth be told i, I really haven't been doing any of that you see his new background we got new house new job new girl just, just new everything okay so uh, we're going through a lot of changes here on the channel speaking of that i want you guys to start sending me pvp clips of this patch in the description of this video yes we're gonna start back the pvp top fives i may just pull some clips i thought was really cool and just talk about them here on the channel kind of break them down if you have a really cool unique fun build let me know submit everything down in the comments below because oh, excuse me down in the towel section the, the description below there's a link to a google docs it's very simple just upload an unlisted youtube video and uh i'll pull it from there and just do all that I try to keep the videos kind of short right i want to go through and have to edit all your guys's work okay I keep off copyright music out that, that would be really appreciated so in the meantime i do have to live vicariously through you guys so all that down in the description below that would be freaking phenomenal okay now going forward though since we are technically permaban there's nothing really holding me back from talking about any bugs or exploits now that is going to work in our favor zoss thought banning me was going to stop this from happening um it did for a little while but now i have really nothing holding me back so i get to pull back the curtain and unveil the void of all the information that i've accumulated over the past decade of playing eso i'm not gonna hold anything back from you guys i'm i'm, I'm really not um i'm gonna try to trickle in all of the videos about bugs and exploits i'm not going to just want to throw everything at you guys at once it is going to be kind of moderated and you know just kind of, just, just kind of partitioned out over time so um again like and sub hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when that content goes live now as far as the rest of the channel is going to go yes we will still be doing a lot of pve or excuse me a lot of eso pvp content but again I need your guys' help in the meantime until I'm able to get an account leveled up. Okay, so uh, that's in the works. PvP Top 5, I will be bringing that back. So uh, again, Google Docs submission form down below. If you guys need help with PvP, you're new, something's not adding up, you need to get help quickly. Okay, I do have YouTube memberships. And in those YouTube memberships, not only do you get a, a bunch of really cool emotes and uh badges you can spam during chat and you get access to certain discord channels but a lot of that comes with pvp coaching as well i think the journeyman level has pvp coaching so you know like every single week like an hour a week you know whatever we arrange if you guys need help with pvp i have 10 years of accumulated pvp knowledge it would be a shame for that to go to waste so please pick my brain if you guys need help if you want me to expedite that process let me know okay if you think you're struggling send me some clips like anything like if, if, you know, for example, I will tell you what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, why you're not being efficient enough, why your sustain is ass, why your tankability actually sucks, target priority, all the bee hopping, all the little mechanics, you know, all the spatial awareness stuff, phasing, all that fun stuff no one ever talks about, which is some of the, the minute pvp techniques you kind of need to know to be really good at eso i mean th there's a lot to it. it's a kind of a complex game to be honest with you but i do look forward to producing content for you guys going forward no i haven't forgot about you we are going to be doing some odds and ends streams here not always eso okay it's going to be a lot of apex overwatch you know stuff like that 
So yeah, that's really what I wanted to talk about in this video. It's kind of an update for you guys to know that I have not forgotten about you and the reason I haven't produced any content is because I quite frankly cannot produce any content because I am permaban. But don't worry, we will have some workarounds for that and we will have a lot of content going forward. I do need your guys to help for the time being, okay? With all that being said, guys, it is good to be back. And again, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the Discord. I will try my absolute best to get back to you guys in a timely manner. This has been Horcrux. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.